well shine together. Welcome to 2K Sports. I'm glad to have you with us for NBA Basketball. Friday Hoops Fest coming up next. It's going to be Dwayne Wade and the Miami Heat up against Tim Duncan and the San Antonio Spurs. And without any further ado, let's head to Kevin Harlan and the rest of the 2K Sports crew at the arena. I'll be back at halftime. The week is starting off right, Monday night, and 2K Sports presents the NBA. This is Kevin Harlan here with Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg. We're in San Antonio. The Spurs with home court playing here at the AT&T Center. A quick check of our starting lineups. State Farm shows who will hit the floor first. And guys, what are we going to be looking for in this one from Tim Duncan? You know, it's amazing, guys. Tim Duncan still a factor at both ends of the floor. You know, he's not quite the scorer that he was in his youth, but his defensive presence and the leadership that he brings to his team is amazing. Yeah, he's a terrific passer, whether it's setting up teammates out of the post or hauling in rebounds and making smart outlet passes to get the transition game going. Love his calm demeanor and the ability to stay even keeled out there. Chalmers passed away. Back to Chalmers. LeBron James on the wing. LeBron right side. Just five on the clock. Knocked loose. Leonard with the steal. And a fast break now for the Spurs. Here's Parker. Count the bucket. And there's the first bucket of the game. Yeah, that's a nice tone setter out of the gate. Chalmers with it. You know, sometimes teams don't age gracefully. And when you... When your stars start to age, all of a sudden the team goes south. But the Spurs have managed to maintain a very high level of play, even with Ginobili and Duncan getting older. It's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. The Spurs have gotten older, as you've said, Steve. But, you know, they've made the most of it. And I think, Clark, that adds to just how smart they are. Their, their high basketball IQ. Without question, Kevin. And the big thing you see with them getting older is that the top guys get rested more. They're not playing as many minutes. And that you saw quite a bit of that towards the end of last year. Now here's LeBron. And he dunks it after the pick frees him up. Well, that's a solidly executed pick play. I mean, it paid dividends with that nice dunk. Exactly the result they were looking for. Yeah, it worked so well. I mean, he got set. He did not shuffle his feet. Really well done there offensively. And the Spurs with possession after the Heat pick up two. There's the feed to Green. Open look. And it's good in the assist by Parker. Green's got his first points in this one. Now the Heat with it. Four-point game. Let's go quickly over to Doris Burke for an update. Kevin, thank you. I caught up with Eric Spolstra. I asked him about how his team was going to handle the veterans of the Spurs, and he said there really isn't a whole lot that Duncan and them haven't seen. So you can't surprise them one way or another. Really, it comes down to us being as careful with the ball as they are and being efficient in our possessions. Sounds simple enough, gentlemen. Thanks, Doris. Well, last couple of seasons, Dwayne Wade has shot just around 50% among the best field goal percentages of his career. And obviously it helps playing with LeBron James. Gets a lot of transition baskets. Uh, really didn't have to take a lot of bailout shots to beat the clock because LeBron was there for some of that as well. Well, he have gone two or three here to start out the game. Has almost screen on Leonard. The drive by LeBron. And that one's good. LeBron's now got his second basket of the night. He has so much confidence, guys. What a finish. And just going back to the great scoring for Wade just for a minute here, guys. Last season, he and LeBron both really cut down on their outside shooting. It was noticeable and made a huge difference in their percentages and in their effectiveness. They really were looking to attack the paint a lot more. And the defense really has to pick it up here, guys. They allowed themselves to get picked too easily. Parker outside. Parker off the pick from Duncan. And Parker, here we go. Rocket six. Open shot by Duncan. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Parker. 
Parker's got three assists now in this one. Haslam is green on Leonard. LeBron kicks to Haslam. Back to LeBron. He's covered by Leonard. The fadeaway. And again, LeBron James. LeBron's now got six. Well, he could have earned some style points there, but he really doesn't need to use the fadeaway when he's that wide open. And San Antonio calls the first timeout of the game. So San Antonio going with an almost entirely new group here. Matt Bonner, he's checked in for Splitter. DL comes in for Tim Duncan. Otto Ginobili's checked in for Kawhi Leonard. And Gary Neal subbed in for Daniel Green. And a new group in for the Heat. Chris Anderson is checked in for Bosch. Mattie comes in for Udonis Hassan. Ray Allen is checked in for Dwayne Wade. And it's Norris Cole in for Mario Chalmers. Now here's Allen. Cole dishes to Anderson. Allen outside. Dishes it to LeBron. And out of bounds as the Spurs gain possession. A temporary lapse of focus for him on that turnover. It's embarrassing, but on occasion it does happen. Kawhi Leonard's checked in for Tony Parker. Then for the Heat, Marsh comes in for Chris Anderson. And Dwayne Wade is subbed in for LeBron. Now here's Ginobili. Some solid defense from Battier. That's the kind of defense required when he's got the ball near the hoop. And they were right in his face. There's a good screen. And Cole kicks to Bosch. Battier outside. Puts up a three. That is good. Battier's got his first three points of the game. That's all the space he needs, guys. He'll make you pay every time if you give him that shot. Ginobili the pass to Leonard. Into Dia. He's guarded by Battier. And there's the pass to Neal. Kicks to Bonner. Fires from deep. And that one's good. Incredible. Only took them a few seconds to answer the three ball with one of their own. Let's keep this thing going, guys. I love seeing a three-point battle like this. Bosch heads the pick for Wade. He knocks it down, but wait a minute. The officials are getting together. They may want to review this one. And it looks like they are going to review the play. The question, did he get the basket off in time? That shot absolutely had to be reviewed. It's going to have a major impact on this game. To the naked eye, that was a very tough decision. Man, you'd love for the replay to be definitive, but wow, even in slow motion, it's hard to tell if that one should count. Well, the ruling is in, and the call stands. No basket, so no change, Clark, and the scoreboard is the end of the quarter. Smart decision to review the shot. That was indeed very good. And a good game so far as we conclude the first quarter. Spurs lead by two. Stay with us as we get set to bring you the second quarter right after this. Welcome back, folks. We have a close game here at the start of the second quarter of play. And looking at what we've seen from the Spurs so far, guys, what do you think? Yeah, this team played an excellent first quarter offensively, moving the ball and getting a good flow to their offense. That's why you see those big assist totals. Yeah, very timely passing for them, Steve, and that's why they've been able to jump out to this lead. In a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. On the floor for San Antonio, we've got Boris Diaw. Gary Neal is out there with Tony Parker. And it's Splitter, and it's Ginobili in at the small forward position. Now let's send it to Doris from the sideline. Well, guys, LeBron James won his third MVP last season. He's one of only eight players in NBA history to achieve that. LeBron said, every time I go out on the basketball court, I try to be the MVP for our team, and I try to lead. I want to be the best. And anytime fans leave the game, hopefully they can say, LeBron was the best player on the court tonight. I just hold myself to that standard. Guys, he's incredible. That's why he's a champion, Doris. Thanks. Yeah, such an amazing talent. He impacts the game in every way. LeBron with it. Picked up by Ginobili. LeBron drives in. And LeBron throws it down hard. And that's his game right there. The determination to get to the bucket. you got to love the mindset. And that replay sponsored by Sprite giving us a great look at that one. 
Well, there's probably two areas of concern if you're a Miami fan. One is the depth of the front court, and the other is the point guard situation. Although last year, I thought Mario Chalmers had an excellent season, and Norris Cole was a, a surprise, the rookie out of Cleveland State. He passes to Batty. Back to LeBron. The dish now to Chalmers. He feeds it to LeBron. The Heat need to get a shot off. But it's rebounded by Boris Diaw. Well, back to Miami. If they can see their young players, and Steve was just mentioning this, grow into that point guard role as they did last year, then really, Clark, you know, front court depth will be their only concern going from this point on. And that's a pretty short list of concerns to have if you're a team. I mean, the Heat will always have to worry about depth to some degree given how they're built around the big three, but it looks like they won't have too many point guard issues going forward. Stolen by Ginobili, and a fast break now for the Spurs. Ginobili leading the charge, heard the whistle, and still kept his focus, able to knock that down. And that is not easy, Steve. I mean, to take the bump, to maintain control of your body, and put it in the hole, tremendous play. Here's what San Antonio's going with right now. Matt Bonner, he's checked in for splitter. Duncan comes in for Boris Dia. Kawhi Leonard is checked in for Mono Ginobili. And it's Green in for Tony Parker. Well, as skilled as LeBron is, what's most impressive is his athleticism. I think you could make the argument that he is the greatest athlete, not only in the history of the NBA, but in the history of sports. Wow! Did you really say that? Sure did. I'd have to do some work on that one, partner. I do agree he's in that discussion and category. And you know how big and strong most of the athletes are in the NBA, and he can make a lot of them look like crash dummies when he's headed to the basket and they're trying to keep him from getting to the rim. Well, come up with your list, and we'll talk about this. <laughs> Two seconds left. Here's Duncan, and they convert it last on attempt number three. Nice putback. That's why you want guys working hard on the boards at both ends of the floor. Here's Cole, looking for his first bucket of the game. Wade outside. Shot clock at six. Nails the 16-footer. Soft defense right there. Way too soft. 59 seconds left in the first half of the game. Here's Neal. Outside, Green. Can't hit, and it's Miami the other way. Lead with it. Leonard picks him up. The drive by LeBron. San Antonio with the rebound. Shoots from eight, and he connects with the jumper. Green's got his second bucket. The Heat have gone four of six in the field here in the second. Shot and game clock separated by five. They set the screen. Wade against Green. Haslam a screen on Green. Again, Dwayne Wade. Wade's got four points in the quarter. Only got a half step on his man, but that's all he needed when he ran off the pick. And as a result, able to finish the layup. That's nicely done. Here's Cole, and it's Miami with another. Close game as we wrap up the second quarter. Heat out front, up by four. Live from the AT&T Center in San Antonio, you're watching 2K Sports. And now, brought to you by Sprint. And it's halftime out in San Antonio with a great one going on there. Glad to have you with us. An impressive start for the Heat. With two quarters left to play, they've been an offensive juggernaut, scoring with impunity. LeBron playing well in the first half. Shouldn't be a shock to anyone. We've seen him put up big numbers before. And for the Spurs, it's a grinded out effort. Wiping the glass defensively. Look, no streaks. They're preventing any second chance opportunities. Tony Parker's dishing it out. The other team has taken it. After two, he's got six points and he's had some good court vision, helping out in the assist department as well. And that's all we have for you here in the studio. Now let's send it on back to Kevin Harlan, Steve Kerr, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke for the second half of play.
And now the start of the second half. Neither side jumping out ahead through the first two quarters. It's been a solid outing for LeBron. Ten points, and he's picked up one dime. You know, and moving forward for Miami, uh, they probably won't have a lot of cap room because of the big contracts of Bosch, Wade, and LeBron. Uh, but remember, it is easy to lure free agents to Miami because of the, the presence of those three and then also uh, the, the attraction of living in Miami. On the court for the Heat, at the two and three. Oh, oh my oh, goodness. Oh, oh, oh. What a huge play. Right there, we saw Bosch opened up space for the shooter. Well done. Well, I heard that LeBron still rides his bike to the arena now and again on game day, and he's an avid cyclist, I guess, and when you're down in Miami, you gotta make the most of that Miami weather, don't you? <laughs> yes, you do. LeBron gets this screen from Bosch. And LeBron throws it down hard! That's taking it strong right there. Yeah, finishing in style. Uh, you can feel a sense of anticipation when he heads for the hoop because that's what he can do. And the highlight real replay. Brought to you by Sprite. Good stuff. That's good. That's now eight points for Duncan. And going back to LeBron, you know he's always enjoyed bicycles. He said as a kid in Akron, in fact, he'd tool around on his bike looking for pickup games. I understand that feeling. Steve, you're a big bicyclist, I know. What do you think about that story? <laughs> Well, I think it's great. You know, and he, he has his the charity event. It's, I think it's called Wheels for Education every summer in, in Akron, a charity bike-a-thon, encouraging kids to stay active and to stay in school. Shane Battier has checked in for Udonis Haslam. Spurs trail by four. Parker kicks to green. Splitter. Nice ball boomed by San Antonio. And good on the basket. Book it. They are in attack mode right now. That's 10 straight points, guys, all coming inside the paint. And Steve, if I'm them, I'm, I'd keep going right to the heart of that defense like they have been until they do something about it. If they don't offer resistance, take everything. Oh! oh hammer time! Wow. Hammer time! He's definitely showing some real sweet dunking skills here. Are you kidding me? Oh, my gosh. What a play. Yeah, that was spectacular. Chalmers against Parker to the middle. Here's Green, and he gets it to go from the high post. Green's got six. You know, Greg Popovich, guys, has been one of the best coaches in the league at making sure he keeps his starters rested. And at no time was that more important than last year. But he did a great job of pacing his team and getting them to that big record. San Antonio calls timeout. And you know, guys, you mentioned Coach Pop. I mean, dressing the starters. It's also a great way to get experience and instill confidence in some of your reserves. I mean, all of those things can pay dividends once you reach the postseason. Looking at who's out there now for the Spurs. Matt Bonner, he's checked in for Splitter. DL comes in for Tim Duncan. And it's Ginobili in for Daniel Green. The Heat also changing it up. Chris Anderson is checked in for Bosch. Allen comes in for Shane Battier. And it's Norris Cole in for Mario Chalmers. A nice shot by LeBron. Boy, they just cannot figure out a way to stop this guy this quarter, Kevin. No real surprise at how well San Antonio played at home last season. Greg Popovich has always made it a priority to control your home floor. Here's Ginobili. Rejected by Anderson. And here's Wade. He's got six. There's the pick. LeBron kicks to Anderson, and he bangs it home with one hand. Now, the offensive efficiency has been really important. I think that's been the difference. Well, you know, I think it's pretty simplistic, but it does oftentimes come down to this making shots, and that's what they've done. Ginobili dishes to Bonner. He used that pick to get in close. Bonner's got five. And that record for the Spurs at home, Steve, 28 and 5 in the season, good for the best Clark in the West. That's why they were able to win the West with their strong play at home. Actually, they were tied for the best home mark overall with Miami. Looking at who's out there now for the Spurs. Splitter is checked in for Matt Bonner. Duncan comes in for Boris Dia. And it's Green in for Kawhi Leonard. And then for Miami, Chris Bosch is checked in for Anderson. And it's Chalmers in for Norris Cole. Just four to shoot. LeBron passes to Wade. Can't get it to go. 
Spurs trail by six. Green with the ball. Wade picks him up. Duncan kicks to Parker. Over Chalmers. It goes back up. And boy, that looked like goaltending. Yes, it is. And so they will award the basket there. He almost got to that shot in time, but not quite. You can't touch the ball once it's on the way down. Kawhi Leonard's checked in for San Antonio. Giannis Haslam, he's checked in for Miami. Chalmers dishes to Wade. Haslam up top. Back to Wade. He's covered by Ginobili. Leonard with the steal. Jams it straight down. All business there, not messing around one bit. Flushed it right with one hand. He never does, Clark. He never does. <laughs> well, that's kind of his trademark. Those slams like that one. Here's Bosch. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. You're going to have a heck of a time finding any flaws in his approach to the game offensively. And that does it for the third quarter. Both teams clicking offensively as we have. As the fourth quarter gets rolling here, let's check out our Sprite uncontainable game. Let's go to Doris Burke. Hi, Doris. Hey, guys. Well, it was the stretch by the Heat that garners the uncontainable game today. Some lockdown defense early on is what allowed them to build their lead. I'm guessing you can expect more of the same here in the fourth to finish the game. Thanks, Doris. And, guys, when you can put together that sort of streak that builds the momentum in a big way for your team, it's something. Always, Kevin. I mean, it's impossible for a stretch like that not to influence the outcome of a game. You know, when you're on the wrong side of a run like that, there's not a whole lot you can do. We'll see soon enough if that's indeed what makes the difference today. Leonard and Duncan are the forwards. Parker and Mano Ginobili, their backcourt. And it's Diaw in at center. And that's who's in the game for the Spurs. Wade. Oh, oh, how oh, about oh, that basketball, oh, man? Beautiful. Wow. Boy, that's some physical basketball out there. I'm glad I'm not in the middle of that. A hard pick and an assault on the buck. Old school stuff there. Yeah, there was a lot to like on that play. And that was Sprite bringing you the close-up on that big-time play. Deflects the pass. It's stolen by Wade. Wade, right side. Battier with a screen on Ginobili. Wade passes to Bosch. San Antonio with the rebound. Duncan's got his third rebound on the night. He dishes it to Parker. Ginobili right side. From the arc, that drops, and it comes off an assist from Parker. Parker's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Yeah, and he's been a player who always saves his best for last, Kevin. Absolutely thrives under pressure. And, you know, when some guys back down with the game coming down to the wire, he seems to be the one to take it up a notch. And also, Steve, he's the guy that does all the dirty work. A tenacious competitor, 100% effort all the time, and you love that. Feeds the Leonard. We're just over a minute and a half now into the fourth. Duncan sinks that one from the post. Man, they are both lighting it up here. Exciting basketball, Steve. I mean, it's been back and forth each side, dropping in points every chance they get. And Cole kicks to Bosch. Diaz there. Bosch drives in, puts up the baby hook. Bosch with another miss. San Antonio trailing here. Clark, their offense has been great here. Yeah, I love the way they've looked. Really strong and together. Yeah, and very aggressive, too. Keeping the defense off balance with their ball movement. I like the way they look. Outside, Ginobili. And again, it's the Spurs from deep. Despite his interference, the team has found other scoring options, which you have to have when one of your main guys is struggling. And I think Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? Well, guys, I was able to listen in on what Eric Spolster was going over with his team in that last huddle. He loved the work they were doing on the interior, saying, listen, they've got no answer for us inside, and we're not going to let them off the hook now. Keep pounding it down low. 
Parker against Chalmers. Let's it go from 11. And it's San Antonio with another. Well, they haven't been getting lit up from outside here. All the points they're giving up are from in close. They've got to offer more resistance. Yeah, defense has to get better, Clark. They've got to body up, bump somebody, get physical, force the action back out to the corner. And they double him up with LeBron. Gets it to go. LeBron's now got four this quarter. Love the finish there. Not much defense, though. And the Spurs making a change here. Ginobili's checked in. There's 1.54 left in the fourth quarter. He kicks it to Splitter. Passes it to Parker. And there's the rejection. He'd have gone three of six in the field so far in the fourth quarter. Bosch has the pick for LeBron. Gives him the lead pass. Chalmers dishes to Aslan. LeBron outside. Down to five on the shot clock. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. the first one and that gives them the lead and so he drops them both it's a two-point ball game tremendous job at the foul line as usual you can always bank on him in these situations Parker drives in over Wade and it's Leonard with the jam and that bucket ignites the crowd. Crucial bucket there, and you hear it in their reaction. And you can feel the energy throughout this building right now. What a huge shot. LeBron with it. Has him a screen on Leonard. Yes! Boy, he's been so dependable here in this game, really playing well offensively. 52 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Down low, and it's out of bounds. The Heat will take it the other way. Got sloppy in a close game. You have to take advantage of every opportunity. Daniel Green, he's checked in for the Spurs. Forty-six seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys are not going to be in any rush on this possession. Not with the lead. I mean, now's the time to use the clock to your advantage. Take your time. Milk the clock a little bit. Leonard against LeBron. Now Haslam inside. Good! Boy, what a huge shot there. How about what a game? I mean, he answered the bell with that one. Tony Parker's checked in for Daniel Green. There's 25 seconds left to play here in the fourth. The feed to split it. Pass to Leonard. Sinks it! And he has brought them to within two points. Guys, good job working it down low and getting the high percentage look there. That's good basketball. And now we've got the intentional foul. That's right. No other option but the foul and hope for some misses. Yep, you got to extend the game here. Try to keep that clock from moving. Second one is good. Getting both at the line, and it's a four-point ball game. Those free throws should put a cap on this one. Great job at the line. Ginobili up top. Over Wade. Ginobili misses. And so the big win by Miami in a tight game. And Clark, you know, it was quite a nail bite. Yeah, it was tight. Their guys were able to come up with big plays down the stretch, and that's the difference. And that about wraps it up for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke. This is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. And now, Jordan presents our player of the game, LeBron James.